All right, everyone, going over classwork number two for Monday, 427-2020. So basically what you need to do is you're going to be converting fractions to decimals, and you have to be able to recognize – all right, starting over. So what we're doing is going over classwork number two. We're going to be converting fractions to decimals. It's not that bad. It's basically a division problem, and you just have to remember how to divide properly. And you also have to remember you're going to be – ending up with a decimal so you're going to be adding a decimal to your answer and you're going to see what that means right now so here we go so i already have it right here so first step is recognize your dividend and divisor your dividend is the number that is getting divided by your divisor is the number you are using to get divided by so fractions are always going to be looking like this two over six this little bar right here you could think it, think of it as your division sign. Right here, this little bar, this fraction, right here, the green. That's basically your, think of it as your dividing sign. So if, you're, if you were to read this problem, two is getting divided by six. Because again, this right here, this little bar right here is, think of it as your division sign. It's your division sign. It just looks different. Think of it like that. So this little bar right here is your division. So two getting divided by six. So if two is getting divided by six, that means two is gonna be inside of your little box. That means six, two divided by six. So that means six is dividing two. So that means six is gonna be on the outside. So basically your denominator, your six, is always going to be on the outside. Your numerator, your two right here in this case, is always going to be in the inside. So let me write that down just in case you forgot. Uh, your divide, your dividend, the dividend is always going to be your. Your dividend is always going to be your denominator, your numerator. That's the top part of your fraction. Your divisor, the number you're using to divide, divisor, is always going to be your denominator. Denominator, okay? Dividend is always going to be your numerator. Divisor, which means the number you're using to divide, is always going to be your denominator, okay? In other words, just in case you keep getting confused, your dividend numerator is a um, numerator. Dividend is always going to be your top number bottom number okay. there so this boom here's put it right here so that way it's a space to do our work so again Two is getting divided by six, okay? You always gotta read it like that. It's like a regular division problem. Now we have to divide. So first things first, we have to look, can six go into two? Let's first do our multiplications. So six times one is six. Six times two is gonna be 12. Six times three is gonna be 18. And then six times four is gonna be 24. We'll stop there. So I'm just doing this multiplication just to help us out when we figure out how many times six can go into two and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So let's think about it. six times a number is gonna give me two or below. So how many times can six go into two? Is that even possible? Let's look. Six times one is six. I'm already over. Six times one is six. I don't want six. Remember, when doing division problems, we always want it to be exactly the same number or below. So six can go into two, it's impossible. Because if six times one is six, and then six times zero, as we all know, it's gonna be zero. So six cannot go into two. So that means that's the answer. The thing you're gonna have to put right here is a, the number you have to put up here is gonna be a zero. Six cannot go into two. So now that we figured out six cannot go into two, it's not just gonna be like the answer is zero. No, remember, we're gonna end up with a decimal. So what we're gonna have to do in this case is we're gonna have to add our decimal. 
weird. Add our decimal. And when we add our decimal, we also have to make sure to add our zero. When we add a zero, we add our decimal. When we add a decimal, we add our zero. And we're only going to do this once, okay? We are only going to do this once because decimals do not have multiple decimals. You don't have 0 0.83, 0 0.3, 0 0.4. It doesn't work that way. We only have one decimal. So now that we added our decimal, we're good to go. That's it. So now we got to do the same, the same thing as if it was a regular division problem. How many times does 6 go into 20? So again, let's look at our multiplications that we started already. 6 times 1 is 6. Okay, that could work, but can we get closer? 6 times 2 is 12. Okay, 12, 2 could get us to 12. It's closer, but let's see if we can get even closer. 6 times 3 equals 18. Hmm, that's pretty close. Let's check it. Let's go one more over. 6 times 4 equals 24. Hmm, that's when we went over. So remember, again, we want it to be exactly 20 or below. So it looks like our magic number in this case is 3. So 3 is going to get us to 18. So 6 times, oops, 6 times 3 is going to give us 18. And that's exactly what we want. We want it to either be below or exactly the same number. So now we have to subtract. 6 minus 18. So, I mean, not 6 minus 18. 20 minus 18 now. So now what is 20 minus 18? What is 20 minus 18? 20 minus 18 is actually going to be 2. 20 minus 18 is 2. Because you 20, if I give you... If you go to the store and you give someone $20 when you bought $18 worth of stuff, you're going to get $2 back. Same thing here. 20 minus 18 is 2. Okay? So now, what do you think is going to happen? We end up with 2 again. What are we going to add again? We're going to add another 0, and we're going to go, we're going to bring it down. And some of you may be noticing already that there's going to be some, a pattern going on. We're going to keep actually ending up with, the same number, just watch. So how many times can six go into 20? Well, that looks pretty um, familiar because we that had that early. So that is going to be, a, again, once again, three. We're going to get, once again, minus 18 because six times three is 18. And we're going to, once again, end up with two. So as you might have noticed, we're going to keep ending up with two again and again and again. So this is going to end up being 0 0.33333333333333 forever. It's going to go on forever. So in this case, I only want you guys to go two decimal places. So like this, one, two. So if you guys put 0 0.33, that's fine. We could put 0 0.333, that's fine. Um, but in this case, I only want you to go two decimal places for these, for these fraction problems. Okay? So in this case, our answer was... 0 0.33. Again, you're adding the decimal. You're only adding one decimal, and then you're going to be adding zeros as much times as you want to go. And if you end up with with a frac with a with a decimal that's going to keep on going infin infinitely, just stop at two decimal places, like in this 0.33. Okay. So again, recognize your dividend and divisor. So remember, two divided by six. Your, your numerator, the top number is always going to go on the inside. Your denominator, the bottom number, is always going to go on the outside. So once you recognize your dividend and divisor, all you have to do is begin dividing, and you also have to make sure to, to add your decimal. So most times when you're doing these fraction problems, you're going to notice that your the number on the outside that's supposed to divide the number on the inside is usually going to be bigger. So you're usually going to have to add the decimal on top and then add your zero. Okay, so hopefully this helped. Please let me know if it didn't help. Uh, hopefully you guys were able to see this and hopefully you guys, um, was it was helpful.